Welcome to Tech Blueprint, a window that lets you know the latest technology news in the world. The filing cabinets of the U.S. Department of Commerce contain control measures that have been continuously upgraded over the past three years, from an absolute ban on EUV lithography machines to a sales license system for DUV equipment to a ban on U.S. citizens from participating in Chinese semiconductor projects. These cold clauses are reshaping the global industrial chain, just like someone carving on a precision instrument with a scalpel, and every cut exudes the bloody smell of technological hegemony. But in this seemingly unequal contest, Chinese semiconductor companies have torn a shocking breakthrough in the cracks. SMIC's 28 nanometers process yield has reached 99.3%, a figure that even makes engineers at TSMC's Nanjing plant feel cold in their backs when discussing privately. When ASML's maintenance engineers were debugging equipment in Shanghai, a magical reality was playing out in Zhongjiang High Tech Park, 80 kilometers away. In the dust-free workshop of Shanghai Microelectronics, engineers installed the last reflector on the domestically produced 28 nanometers lithography machine. This machine worth 230 million yuan will soon be shipped to Qingdao Xinan Semiconductor. In Longhua, Shenzhen, a group of mysterious 12-layer stacked chips are being tested in Huawei's laboratory. This technology of vertically packaging three 14 nanometers chips has allowed the Mate 70 engineering machine to quietly approach the level of Apple 17. These seemingly scattered breakthroughs are weaving into a big net to break the blockade. The United States technological strangulation has instead spawned strange skills in China's semiconductor industry. In the laboratory in Wuhan, engineers from Yangtze Memory have compressed the research and development cycle of the 128-layer 3D NAND flash memory structure to an astonishing 18 months. They adopted a modular design similar to Lego blocks, and this inspiration actually came from the sudden whim of the team engineers when they were playing with their children. When conquering the 5 nanometers process, the etching machine of North Huachuang creatively borrowed the plasma control technology in the aerospace field. This cross-border combination directly reduced the quotation of Tokyo Electronics, similar equipment, by 15%. The global semiconductor industry chain is experiencing an unprecedented domino effect. The quarterly report of Japanese photoresist giant GSR shows that the order volume of Chinese customers has increased by 23% against the trend. These chemical liquids in special metal tanks are being transported to Hafei Changshin through Qingdao port. Sales representatives of Korean equipment manufacturers found that when they visited customers in China, they could always see brochures of SMIC etching machines in the reception room. This detail made Samsung's purchasing director adjust the annual bargaining strategy overnight. In this technology marathon, the capital market has a keener sense of smell than a hound. As soon as the third phase of the National Bait Fund raised 204 billion yuan, private equity funds heard the news and snapped up a whole floor of office buildings around Suzhou Nano City. The semiconductor sector of the Science and Technology Innovation Board has produced seven tenfold stocks in the past 12 months. These stock quotes, with the words micro, core, and science, are writing a wealth-making myth that is crazier than Bitcoin. But behind the carnival, Engineers at the Shanghai Institute of Integrated Circuit Materials are still struggling for the surface flatness of a 12-inch silicon wafer. They know that an error of 0.1 nanometers may ruin the entire batch of wafers. The counterattack in the field of mature processes has formed a prairie fire. Huahong Semiconductor's 55 nanometers BCD process production line in Waxi is eroding ST microelectronics market share in the automotive electronics field. The MOSFET devices, produced by Anxi Semiconductor, acquired by Wingitech Technology, 
have entered the supply chain of Tesla's Shanghai factory. These breakthroughs, in the mid- and low-end fields, may not seem glamorous, but in fact they have built a huge cash flow pool. SMIC's 2023 financial report shows that mature processes contribute 68% of revenue, and this real money is feeding back advanced process research and development. In the field of EDA software, which is the bottleneck in the bottleneck, Huawei's Tiongong design platform can already support 7 nanometers chip development. For this project, which is internally called Noah's Ark, the R&D team was in seclusion at the South Han Lake base for 400 days, and the coffee powder consumed during this period was calculated in tons. Even more surprising is that Hangzhou Guanglui seal analysis software has begun to be exported in reverse. Engineers at TSMC's Shinchu factory found that this Chinese software is 20% more efficient than similar American products in detecting 3 nanometers process defects. This game is rewriting the rules of global technology. When ASML announced the upgrade of its maintenance center, few people noticed the hidden information in the announcement, the proportion of local engineers among its 2,000 employees in mainland China has jumped from 45% three years ago to 78%. These engineers, who have received rigorous training at ASML, are transforming the Dutch lithography secrets into localized innovation nutrients. Just like Japanese semiconductor engineers returning from the United States in the 1980s, history is repeating itself in the East. In the electronics market in Huikiangbai, Shenzhen, shop owners perceive this change in the simplest way. In the past three months, the spot price of ST Microelectronics MCU chips has fallen by 30%, while the shipments of similar products of China Micro Semiconductor have tripled. This feedback from the forefront of the market predicts the change of the pattern more truly than any industry report. Global observers are beginning to realize that China's semiconductor industry is playing a difficult balancing game. It is necessary to build a cash flow fortress in the field of mature processes and seek breakthroughs in advanced processes. It is necessary to remain open and integrate into the global industrial chain and to cultivate an independent and controllable ecosystem. This two-front situation is giving birth to a unique innovation model. SMIC's shared capacity plan allows design companies to obtain advanced process trial production opportunities by leasing. This flexible model makes Wall Street analysts say, I don't understand it. In this war without gunpowder, the most dramatic change occurred in the talent battlefield. Five years ago, graduates of Tsinghua Microelectronics Institute were proud of getting a U.S. green card, but now 73% choose to stay in local companies. When the former technical director of MediaTek joined Unisoc with a team of 20 people, the condition he offered was not high-paying stocks by the opportunity to participate in defining the next generation of communication chip architecture. Behind this transformation is the collective confidence of the entire industry in its transformation from a follower to a rule maker.